What is going on guys? I thank you all for joining me and today we're going to go over something I touched on briefly in a video I put out recently and that was a giveaway. Uh, I haven't done a giveaway in a while. Last time I did one was a giveaway three Franken reels which was pretty fun. Uh, one of which I got some feedback on the reel that the side plate broke. <laughs> so yeah, hooray for quality. Those Chinese -um, uh, OEM clone reels. Uh, yay cast king, yay favorite, and yay shishimo. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is go over the giveaway, what it is, what it entails, how to participate, how it benefits guys that have submitted reels to me in the past, and anybody who has uh, taken a penny of their hard-earned money and submitted it on my Patreon page. And, and to thank you guys as well, because I really couldn't do this without you. Um, recently, I've been getting hammered left and right. Uh, by YouTube demonetizing my videos. Uh, it's now seven of my last nine videos have been demonetized and it takes them about three to four days to uh, remonetize them after they manually review them. And for a YouTuber such as myself, the first 48 is without a doubt the most important because that's when YouTube's algorithm promotes my crap the most and it shows up and gets the most views. Uh, so for them to demonetize me during that period makes pretty much the launch of every video I put out uh, almost have no value uh, for the first 48 hours. And there was another YouTuber, I was wondering why he was uploading so many videos, three or four a day, and he did a video where he was like, he wanted to see if he can beat the, the auto sensor of the YouTube algorithm and not get them demonetized, and he found that he couldn't. So, yeah. So, for all you guys out there that are buying through the Amazon affiliate links, those of you that have reached out to me telling me that you bookmarked my Amazon influencer page, uh, and I, to those of you, you guys that have given me your hard-earned uh, greenbacks, uh, it is greatly appreciated. It doesn't matter if it's a dollar. It doesn't matter if it's ten dollars. Well, yeah, thanks for the, the larger <laughs> contribution. Didn't want to offend anybody there. Um, yeah, and, and it doesn't matter if it was for a month or six months. It's greatly appreciated. It's needed. It's the only way I can survive doing this because uh, even though my watch times are between 8 and 10 minutes and my CPMs are in the $4 range, which means how many dollars I make per thousand, uh, YouTube uh, AdSense revenue for phishing reviews is not sustainable. Um, I wanted to see if it was. It's sad to say that it's not. And uh, I'm not sure how long I can continue doing this because what I've been able to put out so far takes hundreds of hours. And I'm finding that if I do have to stop, say if I have a project that I have to work on outside of this, um, it is tough to pick up where you left off. So if I'm filming, a, I can tear down a reel and put it back together, soup to nuts, you know, strip it down, degrease it, regrease it, slap it back together inside of 20 minutes, no problems. But when I'm doing these side-by-side -side teardowns, when I'm doing these um, uh, overviews and reviews, talking while doing it, not stuttering, not sounding like a complete jackass, uh, takes many, many takes, many dozens of hours. And I find that I do have to leave stuff and come back the next day and it's tough to pick up. And if I'm forced to do that where I can't film till four o'clock in the morning, which I often do, uh, I, I don't know how many I'd be able to get out uh, at that point. So I, I don't know if I'm trying to make a big push for Patreon <laughs> because uh, if I have to go back to work full time, I used to work in a pharmaceutical company doing software. Uh, they downsized. Uh, they suck. Go go F yourself, uh, Sanofi. I hate you. I hope your company goes out of business. Um, I will... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I want to keep this as going as long as possible. But uh, YouTube is, while it's a nice platform, it's great for getting your stuff out there. Uh, they don't pay, pay worth a damn. I even partnered with a tackle shop that puts my videos out to 60,000 people every time they send out a mailer. Um, and I'm, as much as that helps, you, you still can't make a living. Guys like Jake Paul are making millions, uh, putting out absolute garbage, and guys that actually put effort into you know trying to help people uh, make pennies. So I guess that's my rant. But in regards to the giveaway, uh, what this is going to involve is a very, very rare Spyderco knife. It still shows up from time to time. I think the, the last one sold for probably 300, I think I saw on eBay. Uh, I, the last I checked the listing was like 275. Uh, I've seen them go over 400. I've seen them come up from time to time, maybe once or twice a year at 100. Um, so they do vary, but they have sold for some pretty big bucks. And this knife is a single blade. It is 
fully rust proof. Uh, I've been using them for years and I find them to be the absolute best fishing knife. Uh, the edge retention is good, not great. They do have a, uh, a new steel, I think it's LCN 200. I might have gotten that wrong. Um, this is H1 steel. And I will show you guys what it is. 100% rust proof. You can use it in bunker chunking situations. You can cut a line with it. You can stab a bear. Um, this is it. It is the Spyderco Caspian Salt Sharp Tip, not the Blunt Tip. If you're a diver, you may want the Blunt Tip, but good luck. Those are the only ones that are really showing up from time to time. I haven't seen a Sharp Tip show up in a couple of years. Um, this is one of my used ones. I have another one somewhere uh, that it's so used that there literally is no serration left. Um, so this is another one of the used ones that I have, and I'm going to give you guys two options. Uh, this one here is brand new in the box. It's never been used. I don't believe I even touched the edge on it. I think I just checked to make sure it was a knife in the box and not just a, a lead weight. Yeah, I never, I never opened this. Uh, this is the knife that I shall be giving away to a winner. And you can see there is, yeah, there's no way, no wear on that edge at all. This is brand spanking new. And it comes with the sheath and the leg straps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys the option. Um, if you want this knife, I'll give you this sheath with this neck lanyard. And it's basically paracord, which isn't anything special, but it uses the bungee from a spear gun. So that way when you do put it around your neck, uh, you're not pulling the hair out of your neck. And it's very, very comfortable. Uh, I, I, I keep it with me. Uh, whenever I am out fishing. There is not a time in my life that I go out without a knife. Uh, I don't like big cats. Uh, I don't like people that try to sneak up with me, sneak up on me on the dark at Sandy Hook and try to mug me. Uh, the knife has been drawn, although don't tell anybody that because, uh, yeah, in the state of New Jersey, using a knife for, uh, or carrying a knife for self-defense is not a legitimate purpose. Uh, for fish cleaning purposes, I believe, or for uh, game cleaning purposes, it is. But for self-protection, uh, I think Title 2C says uh, you're not supposed to. So, uh, yeah, I never pulled it on a guy that tried to mug me at Sandy Hook. Um, so this is the knife, so you can win this brand new in the box, never used, or this one that was my backup, and I think I sharpened it once. I'll put a uh, shaving sharp edge on it. Uh, if you choose this one as the winner, uh, let me know what kind of edge. Do you want a polished edge or a toothy edge? I like a toothy edge on this knife because it kind of cuts rope and braid better, uh, other than that fancy mirror polished. If you want it, I'll put it on there. Uh, so yeah. Now, what do you need to do to win this uh, bit of awesomeness? You know, it's a, I'm giving it, I'll leave it out so you guys can look at it. I'll even zoom in. This is a beautiful knife. This thing, is, like as far as badass knives go, uh, this thing is amazing. Its balance is beautiful. You just hold it in your finger like this. You'll never drop it. If you got to use your hands, you know, fully, you just go like this. If you want to do stuff like this and then you can like that kind of stuff. Uh, which is which is why I like this knife so much for the salt. It really, truly is um, a, a great on the water knife because of this 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 finger hole. It really does make uh, for very a very convenient knife, and it's a fixed blade. So if you do carry it for emergency purposes, if you are a yak or whatnot, you can modify this clip here, and you never have to worry about opening up a knife. So you have those uh, Spiderco uh, H1 salt folders. You can clip on your vest. This takes it one step further and it's ready to go the second you pull it out of the sheath. So it is a, in my opinion, one of the coolest looking knives ever made. And it is one of the most functional. So what do you need to do to win this? Uh, I looked at my stats and if I'm getting 1500 likes a month, uh, I want four times that. Uh, this is a, did I say four times? Three times, sorry. Um, so if I get 1500 a month, I want 4,500 likes. And that means you can go back to one of my 150 videos or however many videos I have, and it doesn't have to be in this single video. So 4,500 likes is when I'm gonna do the drawing. Now, when I do the drawing, 
to be entered, you have to leave a comment in the comment section down below in this specific video. Um, that's going to be pretty easy to do. Uh, you just need to tell me what video you want to see next, either a Fireline Ultra 8 review or a video on how to tie uh, the PR knot. Uh, those are the two videos that I, I have had a little bit of difficulty filming and letting you guys decide down below uh, will help me pick which one just to grind out and get out of the way. I have a bunch of other videos that I have done. Uh, those two have been giving me a little bit of difficulty, whether it's trying to focus in on the braid and blah, 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 you know, and not hit my camera with the PR bobbin as I'm spinning it. So let me know down below in the comment section what you want to see next. Fireline Ultra 8, which is a great line, and the PR knot, which in my opinion is the best knot you can possibly use if you're going from braid to any kind of leader. Uh, there's just no knot stronger, even if you go bimini to loop the loop. Um, I, I'm still digging the PR over the bimini because it's not always 100% not the bimini if you don't tie it right with braid. And there's a million ways to tie it, and a lot of guys don't tie it right. It takes a ton of practice. It's even still, it can be inconsistent. So, you know, I degrease. I digress. Um, so, yeah, let me know down below. We got the 4,500 likes, and I can't really publicly say how I'm going to benefit the Patreon supporters and the guys that have submitted reels to me or offered to submit reels to me um, in this giveaway. Uh, I am also going to be giving away another knife, uh, which is... Uh, another fixed blade. It's it's not um, rust proof, but it's a cold steel fixed blade with the same finger slot. I bought a bunch of these things. So I'm going to give away two knives, one Spyderco, one cold steel uh, to two different people. And the gist of what I'm going to do as far as the drawing, it's going to be randomized. I'm going to do six randomized drawings. Uh, for those of you that have submitted reels, offered to submit reels, and I had said kind of hold tight, hang tight, or, you know, whatever I might have told you. Um, for those of you that supported me on Patreon, you're going to get five chances. It's maybe. I'm, I can't officially say that because then it would be a lottery and lotteries will get me arrested. And trust me, I can't afford legal fees. My water heater just exploded and I have a, a leaking... Uh, water valve out in my front yard that's got to get dug up and yeah, that's going to be a very expensive so um that's how i'm going to kind of structure it to benefit the patreon guys so if there are three thousand subscribers and every one of you guys leaves a comment below and every one of you leaves a like this is going to be a giveaway that's going to come up pretty quickly and out of those three thousand guys um maybe a couple percentage of you have offered or, you know, given me the Patreon bucks. So it's not like they're getting the whole, you know, a million shots at it. At, at it. It's not like I'm drawing from a pool of a thousand guys that have, have offered that level of support. And again, I, I, I completely value your time. You know, time is just as valuable as money, but I, I can't send uh, <laughs> your time to, uh, to my mortgage company, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Uh, so they're going to get a little bit of an extra uh, benefit, but not, it's going to be slight. Uh, so I hope you guys don't take offense, and I hope you guys still participate. Now, the last thing that I, you know, I want to say is uh, thank you very much, guys, to all the guys that have contacted me directly and said that you bookmarked my, uh, my Amazon influencer page, uh, which is basically a listing of all the stuff I use, and I'm still updating it. I haven't touched it in a couple of days. Um, and all the guys that, have ha that you have purchased through those Amazon affiliate links. Uh, it, just to give you an idea, uh, Amazon pays me between 45 and 7% of the value of every single purchase you make on Amazon after following my link for a 24-hour period. I don't see who buys it. I do see how many clicks I get. I do see uh, what uh, is ordered and how much. Uh, there's nothing that I can see that, okay, this guy, Joe, you bought a, uh, a, a woman's... Uh, pair of uh, leggings. I, I, I was going to go a different direction there, but I, I stopped. Um, I, I can't see that. I can see what was purchased, but I have no clue uh, who made the purchase. So whoever is using those links, and th that is a great way to support my channel. So if you buy anything at all whatsoever from Amazon, just click one of them links before you go there, and it, the pricing doesn't change for you. The only thing it does is install a, a tracking cookie, which you get pretty much but just by using Google anymore. Uh, 
And any purchase after clicking my link, whether it's phishing item related to the link or not, uh, I get paid a finder's fee. So to you guys, I, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, the YouTube revenue isn't what I had hoped it was, even though I'm getting some crazy, you know, between eight and uh, 10 minute uh, average watch times. Uh, and my CPMs are pretty high, which is how much money you make per thousand views. Uh, even though I'm not one of those Jake Paul type guys or, you know, the Guggen squad who get, you know, hundreds of thousands of views and they have ad networks kind of supporting the growth. Um, I, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing all right uh, for my, you know, between three and 6,000 views a day uh, because they're long duration uh, view times. So with all that being said, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. What video you want to see next? What you think of this giveaway? What you think of my progress so far? Any changes you want to see? Um, Scott H., you will be getting some toys in the mail. And I thank you very much yet again. I haven't spoken to you in a while. Your generosity was uh, greatly appreciated. It still is. So yeah, thank you all for joining me, those of you that made it this far. You guys are the best. Hit that like button. Give me my 4,500 likes. I think I deserve it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until next time, uh, you know what? Let me know if you want me to do a live stream. Uh, I see all these video gamers doing live streams and they do stuff on them. Uh, <laughs> let me know if you want to do Xbox gaming sessions. <laughs> guys, it's getting cold out. I hate the cold. I fish 150 plus days a year at the minimum. Some days I'm over 200. The winter time sucks. I don't ice fish. So I have lots of downtime. So if you want me to host up a live stream on Xbox or something along those lines, I don't know how to do that, but I can try. And if you guys just want to jump in and chat on the live chat while we play some Call of Duty or Fortnite or something or Gear, original Gears of War, if you guys play original Gears, let's get a room going. Um, I'll answer a bunch of questions. We can hang out, shoot the It'd be awesome to get a bunch of uh, fishing guys in a in a chat. A couple of my other buddies play too, so it's always a good time. Yeah, let me know. Let me know down below. Maybe I can get a younger de demographic. Again, I'm not targeting a younger demographic, but from what I've seen over the past nine months and the responses I get from that uh, favorite fishing video and some of the hate mail received and the uh, the threats, um, you know, no lawyers, thank God. Um, this next generation coming up that are still uh, in the 10 to 12 year old range, they are, I'm looking at YouTube and the YouTubers like Camel was for cigarettes back in the 80s. Uh, was it the 80s or the early 90s? Where they targeted uh, the youngins. And I, I remember when I signed up for YouTube, there was something in my, in my, uh, in my account set up that you know, was asking, Am I, uh, is my target demographic a certain age? That might have been for Amazon. I can't remember. And I refuse to believe that the target demographic of guys like and um, some of the other guys are breaking the 14 to 17-year-old uh, bracket, if that's the actual bracket. Uh, so the stuff they're, they're, they're showing and the stuff they're promoting uh, it is really going to hit home. So uh, where am I going with this? I don't know how we got to this point. But, you know, I, I'm seeing that demographic as being very um, impressionable. And, you know, Real Test uh, mentioned that, you know, the generation with ADD and doesn't pay attention more than five minutes isn't going to watch a long-winded review. Well, you know, that's there's nothing wrong with that. They grew up with things being much more readily accessible and you can skip to what you like. So that's what they grew up with. And, you know, when they're at that age, there's no fixing it until they kind of start looking at different perspectives of, of different things and start growing up. Then that's when they're, they're more readily um, uh, reachable. So it's, I, don't, I would never, you know, say they're, it's just a, the ADD generation. And there's always opportunity. But when you, when you look at something like this, YouTube is a medium that they're using. So uh, that's kind of why I want to keep pushing through with this. You know, I, I'm, I'm, not the, you know, I'm not Alan Hawk. I do things a little bit different. I love Alan Hawk. He and I have gone back and forth tons of times over the last decade. Um, you know, he's one of my internet buddies. I, you know, I have a great amount of respect for what he does and what he has to put up with. I wish he was out and about a little bit more like he used to, but I, I get why he's not. With that being said, guys that kind of do these deep dives are beneficial, not just for the consumer, but to the 
you know, industry as a whole, because I'd like to think we kind of keep some of these manufacturers on the toes, on their toes. And if we're not, you know what, they'll suffer the consequences when, you know, people look at a, uh, a, a non-biased review of a product that does compare them to the competition. You look at all these reviews, guys take them out of a box, they don't compare it to anything. That's what you need. You need to see how does this box that I put my money in compared to another box that I could have put my money in. And why do I want to throw my money into that box? So fanboyism aside, it's not Sega Genesis versus Super Nintendo anymore. Um, all these Chinese copycat companies are trying to get your get your money, and they're doing a good job of it. So you got to start kind of, I don't know, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention to more than just me. I'm just one dude. You know, I, don't, I can't cover everything. There's a lot of guys out there. Even the younger guys that are starting to do this. Um, there's tons of guys out there that have reached out to me in the past and, you know, you know, do it. Just put your crap out there. I, I, I'm, I'm probably the stupidest one out there. I bought, you know, thousands of dollars in cameras, laptops, and blah, 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 right after being let go from a company. <laughs> and I did all this when unemployment ran out. <laughs> so, you know, maybe you'll have a better, uh, better go at it because maybe you're living at home and have, don't have expenses and, you know, finances and stuff like that. But, yeah, my last unemployment check was on Easter Sunday of 2017. And everything else has been digging into my 401k and my savings and help from Patreon, YouTube, Amazon, and my, uh, my lovely girlfriend. Thank you, Leela. <laughs> and, yeah, so with all that being said, uh, that's, I think, the third time I've said that. Uh, tight lines. I'll see you soon. Let me know what you thought down below. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.